This is the Apple Smart Bottle. Well, it's not technically made by Apple, but they've just started selling this in their stores. But why? Why is Apple selling this to their customers? Well, that's because this bottle fully integrates with Apple's ecosystem. It syncs with Apple Health to track exactly how much water you drink, and it even features a complication for the Apple Watch. This sounds really cool, but then if it integrates so well with Apple's other products, why isn't Apple branding this as an Apple bottle? Well, that's because by selling a third-party product in their store, there are no R&D costs and therefore it poses zero risk to Apple in case it fails. Plus, Apple actually sells a large number of third-party health products, all that integrate really well with Apple Health, including things such as posture trainers, thermometers, smart scales, blood pressure monitors, glucose meters, and many more. So, okay, back to this smart bottle. Is it any good? Well, I've been using mine for about two weeks now, and I gotta say, the experience was way better than I expected. The bottle has a sensor that can track the exact water level that's inside, meaning that it can actually track how much water you drink down to the milliliter. It can also detect when you refill it, and then it gives you this visual feedback to remind you when you have to drink. It 100% serves its purpose when it comes to making you drink more water, which is something that I've always been really bad at. In the first few days of using it, I've noticed that I was always meeting my recommended water intake without necessarily forcing myself to drink more water. Initially, that made me believe that I didn't actually need this bottle as I was already drinking enough. But once another week passed by and the novelty of this bottle started wearing off, I actually noticed that my water intake started dropping to below what I should be drinking, which forced me to actively try to drink more water. And my favorite thing about it is that it automatically adjusts the recommended water intake for you based on things such as the weather and how much exercise you do during that day. A few days ago, for example, I drank my entire recommended water intake and then I worked out, which caused my required water intake to increase. So if you have a medical condition and you need to drink a fixed amount of water per day, or you simply want to drink more water but you could never find a way of tracking that amount, this is probably the the best option there is. But nothing can be perfect, so have I had any issues with this? Well, uh, there were indeed a couple. The main one for me is that it needs to be on a flat surface to be able to track your water intake. So if you're moving around and also drinking at the same time, it won't be able to track. I've noticed this when I was out and about with my backpack, and even once I sat down, my readings didn't look quite right. Also, charging it. Although you only have to do it every week or so, it is a bit of a hassle. There's no induction-based charging, so you need to remove the bottom and connect that to a charger while making sure that no water gets to it. They should have made a wireless charging system just like the Apple Watch, but maybe they didn't want to increase the cost, although I do think that a future version of this should have wireless charging. And connecting it at first was also quite a hassle, as there's no on-off button, and you have to recalibrate a bottle every time you remove the battery puck, which is usually when you want to wash it or when you want to charge it. Oh, and remember the LED base that I mentioned? You do get a couple of colors to choose from, but if you want to create your own gradients, you actually have to pay five pounds for an in-app purchase. 2022, the year of RGB water bottles with in-app purchases. Oh, and it's also the year of us launching our new Zen of Tech Shores channel. Check it out for tips and tricks and quick and fun tech videos. Okay, so let's say that you're aware of all of these issues with this bottle, but you still want to get it as you like the idea of being able to accurately track your water intake. Um, how much does it actually cost? Well, this one right here is called the Hydrake Spark Pro and costs $70. There's also a plastic version that does not keep your drinks cool, and this retails for 60. There's also the previous gen version, the Hydrate Spark 3, which you can find for cheap on eBay and has all the functionality of the Pro. But still, this is a very expensive water bottle, which begs the question, are private companies aiming to make serious cash out of the back of hell tracking? And I think that, yes, of course. Apple's money is made by giving you all of these tracking options regardless of your actual use for the data, or if the data is even relevant to you. After all, the more health tracking they can offer, the more some of you will be enticed to buying their products in the pursuits of more and more data, resulting in further profits. They stand to gain from the health tracking craze people might think they need, even if they realistically don't. I'm not saying that Apple is necessarily evil here, but that they are a private company and giving their users more and more data to track also helps them make more profits to please their shareholders. Also, if you are syncing all of your data to Apple Health, you need to remember that this data is now locked into Apple's ecosystem, which further encourages you to get even more products that sync with Apple Health. I mean, Apple could just release a book titled The 5 Tips for a Better Health, in which they could get the world's top experts to develop the best way of motivating you to drink enough water. But instead, Instead, you have to buy an expensive $70 bottle to do that. And the same applies to food tracking apps that have pay 
paid subscriptions that allow you to track the calories of what you're eating. Although the calories are literally listed on the packing itself. The world is becoming obsessed with data tracking and I think that this is both a good and a bad thing. It is definitely good when it comes to tracking your heart rate or the amount of oxygen in your blood, your glucose level, essentially anything that would be impossible for you to track yourself. But when it comes to tracking your water or the amount of calories or how many hours of sleep you get, uh, these are all things that you can easily track yourself. And I feel like we may fall into the trap of spending hundreds of dollars to simply do the things that we can already do ourselves, but just in a different way. I definitely want to hear what you guys think about this. What sort of health tracking do you think is good? And what sort of health tracking do you think can actually be bad for you? But what about going to the doctor? Wouldn't all this tracking be useful for that? And that is true. Even if you don't use all the data, it could become useful for when you go to your doctor. For example, if you haven't been feeling well over the past few days, there's a good chance that all the data that your smart devices have gathered about you, such as your oxygen level, your heart rate, your water intake, and your nutrition can help your doctor find out what is wrong with you much faster. And not only that, but there have been plenty of stories where users who constantly got notified by their Apple Watch that they have an irregular heartbeat went to their doctor who then diagnosed them with a heart condition. In some cases, even saving their lives. And while you can of course keep track of your water intake and nutrition in a more cost-effective way, you could argue with the fact that having everything in Apple Health does allow you to send everything to your doctor much easier. Some hospitals and clinics can request direct access to your Apple Health data. There are only two of them supported in the UK right now, but more of them will come. And for those that are not supported yet, you can also export a PDF that will include everything that Apple Health has been tracking. Which begs the question, where is Apple heading towards when it comes to health tracking? Well, I do believe that the Apple Watch is what they'll focus on the most. We know that this year's Apple Watch will bring a body temperature sensor, and we also know that they're actively working on adding a glucose monitor as well as a blood pressure monitor, although these are a couple of years away. So Apple is seeing the Apple Watch as the device that can indeed provide you with the data that you cannot manually get yourself, unless of course you go to a doctor or you get uh, one of those larger dedicated measurement devices. On top of this, Apple does have patents that show potential smart bands that could in fact be used to add additional health sensors. And we've heard the same about future versions of AirPods being able to measure your temperature as well. All this sounds great, and if health accessories like this bottle do well uh, on Apple Store, they will very likely start making their own accessories too in the not too distant future. But let me know, what do you guys think? What health accessory do you find the most useful for you, even if it's something that doesn't exist yet? And if you're interested in purchasing the smart bottle and some more smart health tracking accessories, we have some affiliate links down below in the description that do help support the channel. And do subscribe if you want us to check more interesting and unique Apple accessories, I guess. I'm Daniel, this is Zenoftech, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Zenoftech, signing out. Cheers.